the Finance Act is clear that loans and revenue of that nature should go for the consolidated fund. When loans are negotiated on behalf of the government, they basically negotiated for the people because the people are the ones who will repay with the taxpayers' dollars. Here comes the government of the United Workers' Party and negotiates a loan for $20 million. And the money goes directly into the account of a private firm. The money, that money never came to the government account. Why is that not the right thing to do? Where is the protection for, for, for the government? Supposing the firm goes bankrupt. How will the government, how will the government, how will the interest be, be, be protected? Let's wait. Suppose the firm goes bankrupt. What will happen? We think it's improper. And we also think that the public should have, the government should have an idea through the, the, through the levers of government how that money is being spent. It's a matter of ensuring that the Finance Act is followed and the, and the assets of the people of St. Lucia are protected by making making sure that there is no room there is no room for anything improper to happen this is a practice which you say is improper yes what can you do as prime minister to prevent this from reoccurring first of all my government will not do it what we have issue is is the governance of St. Lucia and what you have issue is, is accountability to the taxpayers of St. Lucia that's what we have issue with. what position might that put a government that they are at the mercy, for lack of a better word, of a private firm well said. with loan money. You said it well. They are the mercy. Come for the system and then let the payment process happen from the government treasury. It's fun to go to the Eastern Caribbean Central Bank. They'll come and come down for the system, and the accountability will be at the treasury with the government of